Mm. Uh, you you talked a little bit about just like broccoli and, and, and other you know like your your uh, one of your patients had a specific type of meal plan right the, the McDonald's and stuff. What is your meal plan like? What do I I follow a ketogenic diet okay. this year. Um, so when I first uh, started with uh, talking to Jason about this and the high fat, I have a family history of heart disease that is some like stomach turning. Um, my dad's brother died at 36 from a heart attack. I'm, it's a rarity for me to be over the age of 30 and not have had a heart attack in my family. Um, so I'm sitting there across from Jason and he's saying, go home and eat butter. And I'm thinking, why does this man want to kill me? <laughs> He's supposed to be my friend. Um, but I understood, you know, I have a strong biochem background. I, under I understand how fats are metabolized by the body and the hormonal response. Like, I feel like such an idiot now in hindsight. Um, but it, I, I get it. And so that was hard for me. So it took me a couple of years, really, to get accustomed to eating a higher fat diet. Um, and then I sort of stayed moderate low carb because, uh, you know, social engagements and particularly being in my late 20s and going out all of the time and, and sort of that pressure, I'd say it was moderately low carb. But this year, 2000, or well, last year, 2016, I decided to go keto. There's so much more information out there about ketogenic diets. I have Alzheimer's disease in my family, Parkinson's. Um, I have had a history of cancer. My husband's family has a very strong and frightening history of Alzheimer's disease. And so we got married in January of 2016. And I thought, okay, like we need to grow up. You know, I, I have to stop thinking about myself and how that, you know, that French fries on Saturday night, you know, I might enjoy it on Saturday night, but I'm going to be a wife and I'm going to have kids now. Um, so thinking long term. So I decided to try the ketogenic diet. So a good 70 to 75% of my calorie intake comes from fat. Um, and then I try, I do a very moderate protein diet. I don't exercise as much as I should have. 2017 goals. We're <laughs> getting back into the swing of things next month. We've got, we, we got a lot going on. Um, and so I would probably up my protein intake a little bit, but I try to keep my um, carbohydrate intake to 20 to, or 30 total grams of carbs or less throughout the day. Um, I s sort of do a one meal a day um, diet now. It's not something we recommend to patients when they're tr actively trying to lose weight, but when you're trying to just sort of maintain, it works. And then periodically we do longer fasts, usually fit them in around our social engagements. If I know I'm going to be going away next weekend and there's going to be a lot of eating, it can all be good eating, but I might eat three extra meals worth of food that I would normally eat. So I know that I'm coming home from that weekend with three meals worth of leftovers in my in my body, um, three extra tanks of fuel. So I know I have to make up for that sometime either leading up to that weekend um, or afterwards. So we try to talk to the patients too. You know, if you really overdo it at a meal, that's sort of like having two meals in one, which is okay. But just know you have leftovers in your internal refrigerator. And if you leave those leftovers there for a long period of time, they're gonna go bad um, and they're gonna stink up. So you wanna try to empty your fridge as, as soon as possible, just like you would with real life leftovers that you would bring home. You might not eat them the next day, but within a few days, you wanna try to get them out of the fridge because the food's gonna go bad. Um, so we encourage patients like that. So our fasting now sort of at maintenance mode sort of fluctuates based on our, our eating habits. Uh, so it's January, so we've been <laughs> to, we need yeah. to do more fasting <laughs> after the well, last haul. The holidays are rough. I just say we were, we're pretty, good. we were pretty good, much better than last year. So progress, not perfection, okay. when it comes to the diet.